Hi, welcome to the Center Maths Problem of the Week. This week we have a Halloween themed problem. The problem is, on Halloween, the favorite gathering place for movie monsters is Dracula's Castle, site of the annual monster ball. The Count's intolerance of daylight limits his ability to shop for party items. So his four best monster friends each brought a different necessity to this year's party. Each of them showed up wearing a different Halloween costume. One came as Cinderella. Thanks to their help, the guests had a ghoulishly good time. Determine the order in which each monster arrived at the ball, the costume he wore, and the items he contributed. So we have five clues that were given, and we're going to work through each clue and use deductive reasoning to determine which costume and which order the monsters came in. We have a logic puzzle grid set up with the categories. We have first, second, third, fourth, the monsters, the costumes, and the items they brought. And we also have it going down this way. So we'll just go through each clue together. So clue one tells us that the monster dressed as Papa Smurf arrived just before the creature from the Black Lagoon who arrived sometime just before the monster who brought the pumpkins for the guests to carve into jack-o'-lanterns. This clue actually tells us a lot. So, the monster dressed as Papa Smurf arrived before the creature. So that means the creature did not arrive first. So we'll go to creature and we'll, we'll use X to cross it off if it means no. And if, we, if it's yes, we'll use a circle. Um, and then, the monster who brought the pumpkins came after the creature, so the creature did not arrive forth. Um, the monster dressed as Papa Smurf had two people come after him, which means he did not arrive third or fourth. We'll go to Papa Smurf. And then we have that the, Papa, the monster dressed as Papa Smurf was not the creature. And the creature did not bring pumpkins. And the pumpkin bringer did not arrive first or second because the monster dressed as Papa Smurf and the creature came before him. So we'll go to pumpkins. And the last thing this clue tells you is that Papa Smurf did not bring pumpkins. Right. And now we'll move on to clue two. Wolfman arrived sometime before the monster who brought apples for bobbing, who arrived sometime before the monster who dressed up as Tinkerbell. This clue is pretty similar to the first clue. Um, so Wolfman arrived before the monster who brought apples and before Tinkerbell, so he had two people arrive after him, which means he did not arrive third or fourth. And the monster who brought apples had Wolfman arrive before him and someone arrive after him, so he did not arrive first or fourth. The apple bobber, the person who brought the apples, so we go to apples. And then Tinkerbell did not arrive first or second since that monster had two monsters come before him. Wolfman was not dressed up as Tinkerbell. And the monster who was dressed up as Tinkerbell did not bring apples. I believe that's everything that clue two tells you. Um, clue three, the four monsters are in some order. Frankenstein, the one who brought his CD collection, which included Monster Mash, the one who wore a Peter Cottontail costume, and the third monster to arrive. All right, so this means that Frankenstein did not bring CDs, Frankenstein did not wear the Peter Cottontail costume, and Frankenstein was not the third monster to arrive. also means that 
Um, the CD bringer did not wear Peter Cottontail costume, and the CD bringer was not the third was not the third monster to arrive. And lastly, it tells us that Peter, the monster who wore the Peter Cottontail costume was not the third monster. Oh, we already did that one. Clue four, the monster who brought a horror movie trivia game arrived sometime before the thing who didn't come dressed as Papa Smurf. All right, so it says the thing was not dressed as Papa Smurf. The monster who brought a movie trivia game arrived before the thing. So the thing was there before the movie trivia. So he, yeah, he did not arrive fourth. The monster who brought trivia did not arrive fourth. And the, you said the thing did not bring the trivia game. The thing did not arrive first. And lastly, clue five, during the evening, Frankenstein and the monster who brought the pumpkins talked about collaborating on a screenplay for a future movie. And this clue only tells us that Frankenstein was not the one to bring the pumpkins. So we'll go to Frankenstein, we'll go down to pumpkins, and put in X. All right, so this is what our puzzle grid looks like after we went through the clues. If you missed some information, you might have to go back and read the clues. But from here, we can make further eliminations. So we can see that the pumpkins were either brought by the fourth monster, brought either the pumpkins or the CDs. And Frankenstein did not bring either pumpkins or CDs, which means Frankenstein was not the fourth monster to arrive. And by elimination, you can see that the thing must have been the fourth. And we can cross out the rest in that row and column. And then so we can, that means that the creature must have been the third monster to arrive. If we go back to our clues, if we know that the creature is the third, the monster dressed as Papa Smurf arrives before the creature. So the monster dressed as Papa Smurf must have been second. And the monster who brought the pumpkins came after the creature, so the pumpkins came fourth. So we established that the pumpkins came forth and that the thing was forth. So the thing brought the pumpkins. And so I go to, back to clue three, which tells us that the four monsters are the Frankenstein, the one who brought the CD collection, the one who wore the Peter Cottontail costume, and the third monster to arrive. So we know that the thing did not bring the CDs and the thing was fourth to arrive, but the thing does need to be accounted for within this clue. So the thing must have been the one to wear the Peter Cottontail costume. So now in clue three, we have Frankenstein accounted for, we have the thing accounted for, and the third monster we know is the creature which just means we need to account for Wolfman, so he must have brought the CD collection. So now we have that Wolfman arrived before the monster who brought apples for bobbing. And 
before the monster who was dressed up as Tinkerbell. Um, oh yeah. Okay. So we know the thing is dressed up as Peter Cottontail and the thing came forth. So we do Peter Cottontail here. Which means that Tinkerbell must have come third. And we know that Tinkerbell came before the, Tinkerbell came after the apple bobber bringer, so the apples must have came second. You can fill out most of these by elimination because once you get one of them, you fill out the rest with X, the rest of the rows and columns, but with X's. Okay, we're almost completed. We just need to figure out who came first or second, Frankenstein or Wolfman. And we have from clue two that Wolfman arrived before the monster who brought apples for bobbing. And the apple bobber bringer, the, person, the monster who brought the apples came second. So that means Wolfman must have arrived first. And now we have the order. So first came Wolfman, dressed as Cinderella, who brought CDs. Second was Frankenstein, who came as Papa Smurf, who brought apples. The third was the creature. He was dressed up as Tinkerbell, and he brought the trivia game. And the fourth was the thing, who was dressed up as Peter Cottontail, who brought pumpkins. Hope you enjoyed this problem of the week. The Center of Math wishes you a very happy Halloween. Be sure to check out our blog, check out centerofmath.org, and be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you.